So I recently rewatched Casino Royale, and with any Bond movie, I enjoy looking at the clothes just as much as the action. What struck me when I watched this movie was not the black tie or the two-piece suits, but instead Daniel Craig's incredible execution of casual style. In fact, I am more of a fan of Daniel Craig's casual Bonds than any of the classic formal looks that we expect from the character. In my opinion, Craig did casual Bond better than any actor since Sean Connery and maybe even better. I believe the majority of men could improve their style simply by outright copying the looks from these movies and if you're already a well-dressed guy then I'm sure you can take a lot of inspiration from them too. So let's take a look at the casual style of James Bond and how you can incorporate it into your own style. And we'll focus on the Craig movies spanning from 2006's Casino Royale right up to 2021's No Time to Die. Now, James Bond might dress down from time to time, but he never looks lazy or lacks elegance. Not only is this because he coordinates his outfits well and uses good fit, but because he has a few elevated, casual staple pieces. The most notable of these is the navy polo shirt. The polo shirt has been a part of the Bond wardrobe since Sean Connery, and it's easy to see why. It's obviously more dressy and classy than a t-shirt, but it looks understated and relaxed in those situations where a button-down might just be too much. What's more, the polo shirt is very flattering on Craig's physique because the short sleeves show off his biceps. The colour navy goes well with the other casual pieces and it looks understated. And talking of understated, you'll notice that there is nothing fancy, no logos or details about Craig's polo shirt. If you want to buy the exact one, you can pick it up from Sunspell, but if you actually want to look like Bond, then you're going to need to get it tailored. That's exactly what they did for Daniel Craig in the movie, so it fits him like a glove. Now here's an interesting point about how Bond wears his polo shirts. He only wears them in casual settings. You could wear one with a blazer or a suit jacket, and actually, personally, I think that looks great, but he always wears a button-down shirt in those situations. I think that reflects Bond's mentality of doing things properly, so if he can wear a button-down shirt with his suit then he'd much rather do that and he'll save the polo shirt, casual piece, for casual occasions. Another staple of the Bond casual wardrobe is the suede tan blues on jacket. He wears this jacket a lot and it's very versatile and looks fantastic with button-down shirts, polo shirts and even t-shirts. There's something about the suede material that's very adult and sexy but also rugged and masculine. The suede jacket was actually my personal go-to jacket for a long time until I just no longer fit my suede jacket and it was probably the thing I was most sad about getting rid of. So I myself, I'm actually now looking for a replacement. I found that the one Craig wears during the movies is by a brand called Matchless. You can't seem to buy it anymore, new at least. At the time it was $1,399, so Pretty expensive, I don't think you need to pay this much money to get a high quality 100% suede jacket. Wherever you do buy yours from, I would just make sure that it is genuine suede so you know it's a worthy investment that will last you a long time. The third and final casual staple of the Bond wardrobe is the chucker boots. Craig's Bond loves chucker boots and he wears them with everything from chinos and a polo up to a suit. Boots are very rugged, masculine and practical so it makes total sense why he would wear them so much. Chucker boots in particular, in the suede, they are going to be a lot cooler than, for example, a pair of leather Chelsea boots. Not only is the suede fabric itself more lightweight and breathable, but they also have an open lacing system. So if, like Bond, you often find yourself in exotic and hot climates, then the chucker boot is a great choice for you. Whatever style of boot you do choose, it's always going to look more understated and adult, for example, than a pair of sneakers, which is more juvenile. So I think that's much more appealing to the serious character of James Bond. Beyond these elevated casual pieces, there are some other casual style principles that James Bond adheres to. You don't see him in neons or pastels or crazy patterns. This understated color scheme helps him look more serious and elegant. If you think about the character of James Bond, who he actually is, he is a well-educated, middle-upper-class agent of the British government. He's not going to wear anything juvenile, feminine, or flamboyant. You could say this is a little bit boring, but actually a simple colour scheme makes it much more easy to be stylish. As a well-dressed man, you don't need a confusing array of options. You need things that are dependable. And in choosing the colours that work for you, look to your skin tone. 
So look at Daniel Craig, he's a white man but he generally has quite tan skin, so he wears a lot of light tan. Understanding your skin tone and which neutral tones work well with that can be a great way to establish which colours you should base your staple pieces around. Craig's Bond also keeps it incredibly simple with the accessories he wears. Now Bond is a watchman, he doesn't care for rings, bracelets or necklaces. He allows his personality and his Omega to do the talking. Omega. Now different Bonds have worn different brands and styles of watches throughout the decades. If you want to create the look and appeal of a James Bond watch, you don't need an unlimited budget from HM Treasury. You can grab affordable styles by brands like Seiko and Tissot, which are going to give you that classic masculine aesthetic and dependable quality. And if you're not sure where to go, I'm going to put the links for these watches that you're seeing on screen right now in the description box. There is another accessory which is very important in both the casual and formal style repertoire of James Bond, and that's his sunglasses. Craig's Bond wore a great variety of styles and many different pairs depending on the situation. His brands of choice are quite expensive, Persol, Barton Pereira, Tom Ford, but again, you don't need a ton of money to recreate the aesthetic, just choose a classic style that works with your face shape. You could say that James Bond's casual style is a bit like his taste in cars. Understated, classic, but very powerful and full of secret weapons. It's a balance between what suits him, what is timeless, and what will make him stand out. But if you don't yet have one or two elevated, casual staple pieces in your wardrobe, I hope this video and Daniel Craig's portrayal of the James Bond character might inspire you to explore this avenue of your own personal style. And guys, maybe you can help give me some ideas for future videos. Who in your mind is the most stylish Bond ever? Let me know in the comments. I'll chat with you all there and I'll see you in the next video.